Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today I'm finally gonna be filming for you guys what I picked up on Black Friday. So all the different makeup pieces that I got on sale. I also have some fashion pieces and electronic. I have so many cool things to show you guys that I picked up. Very excited for this video. I've actually been wanting to film this, but this stuff took so long to get to me. I just got my last piece from Nordstrom yesterday. So I said, you know what? Let's just film this video. I also got some pieces from H&M and an Abercrombie order, but what I'm gonna do is do a fashion haul with the Abercrombie and H&M, mix them, to mix them together and just do a whole on haul of those because it's gonna take too long. So today I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the makeup that I picked up as well as a few of like the accessory fashion pieces. I picked up two pairs of shoes, I picked up some jewelry, everything's gonna be in today's video. So I'm really excited. Also, I'm gonna be doing lip swatches of all my Bite Beauty lipsticks in today's video because I picked up like four of them during Black Friday. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys lip swatches. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you guys are excited, don't forget to hit subscribe, join the family. I'm gonna be uploading one video every single day till the end of December. So if you guys are enjoying Christina Miss, let me know that down below, but I've been having fun filming it. So let's go ahead, let's get into it right now. So why don't we start off with Bite Beauty and all the lipstick shades that I picked up and some lip swatches for you guys. So I think that this would be really, really fun because I have so many of them now. Look how many Bite Beauty lipsticks I have. So I have six shades now of their Power Move Soft Matte Lipsticks. I love this lipstick formula. I am like obsessed. I think it might be my new favorite lipstick formula. Um, you guys know my favorite is Charlotte Tilbury. I, gosh, I really think that these might be knocking Charlotte off of the number one running. I'm serious about this. These are so good. And I keep stocking up on them because they're just so good. And Black Friday, they were like, what were they, 40% off? I think I got some of these for like $12 and usually they're like 20 something. But I had a steal and I needed to get a lot of them. So, I ended up picking up the color Paraline. I picked up Tanini. I also picked up Chai. And finally, the last one I picked up was Tamarind. So those are the four that I picked up during the Black Friday sale to add to my collection that I already had Ginger Malt and Harissa. Harissa being the first color I ever tried from this formula and fell in love with. So I ended up picking up four during Black Friday. So I decided why not swatch them all for you guys in case you guys are looking at these Bite Beauty lipsticks, why not show you guys what they all look like? So let me go ahead and insert some swatches. Now we're gonna do a little quick little swatchy little part of the video and then we'll get back to opening some more stuff that I picked up from Black Friday. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm obsessed with those lipsticks, guys, and I love mixing them with the Natasha Denona lip liners. It has been my new go-to way to wear those lipsticks, and I'm like obsessed, like, I'm serious. Okay, so what else did I pick up? What else makeup did I pick up? So when it came to makeup, I did restock on some stuff that I love, 
the Makeup by Mario Brow Pencil. You guys know I'm kind of obsessed with the Master Blade Pencil from Mario. And I do pick it up in the shade Classic Brunette. It is what I use on my brows from this point to this point. And it has been a game changer. You guys know I'm obsessed with it. I, I love this product. And I ended up picking up two of my Precisely My Brow. And this is in the correct color because, um, during the Sephora sale, I picked up an Anastasio one in a lighter tone and it works for camera, but to me it's too light in person. So I ended up picking up two of my precisely my brows during Black Friday because Benefit had an awesome sale as well. And I got them in shade four, which is deep, warm, deep brown. That's the color that I use in the front of my brows. And then I'll like kind of fill in anywhere that this guy left bald, which is not that many places anymore. So I'm like obsessed with this combination. So I decided to stock up. So, you know, at least it could last me till the summer. I'm using a brand new one of this one already. So this would be my second. Maybe I should have bought him more than one to be honest, but it's okay. I thought the other one was gonna last me just a tad longer, but we're good to go with brow products, but we're good to go with brow products and that's what I wanted. I also ended up picking up a Natasha Denona Macro Blade. I love this liquid pencil, like, oh my God, it's so amazing. So this is the best liquid liner on the market. I picked myself up a second one. Mine, I use it so often that I know that thing's gonna just run out on me one day and it's gonna be like that sad day that you realize that there's no more product left in your liner and you don't have a backup. So I said, let me just get one. This was just like a random purchase. And that's basically what I picked up for makeup. I didn't pick up eyeshadow palettes, no blushes, nothing like that. Because honestly, you know, I just usually wait for new releases to come up. And by the time Black Friday comes for me as a makeup channel, some of the stuff is already like past due for presenting on camera. So sometimes I just don't pick stuff up unless it's something I was dying for. But I did pick up some really cool jewelry. So I really like Uncommon James. It's like a really cute brand. Kristen Cavallari is the one that started this brand and she has really cute products. Some of her jewelry pieces are too yellow for me. Like they're that real yellow gold. And sometimes I don't love them, but I love her designs. Her designs are so good that sometimes I'm okay with the super yellow color. So anytime that she does sales, I pick stuff up because her price tags are pretty expensive. The stuff is nice, but I like to pay for it on sale. <laughs> so I did pick up um, two earrings from Uncommon James. So uh, let me show you guys what they look like. So I'm really excited about these. You guys know I just recently figured out that you don't need to have a second piercing to look like you have a second piercing because of Ana Luisa. I'm actually wearing Ana Luisa today, but you see this second, this little cuff is like a fake cuff. Like it doesn't actually have to have a hole. And honestly, I didn't think that these things could work that good until Ana Luisa. So because of this product, I ended up going crazy and wanting to buy another one because I was like, you know what? These are so cool, I need to have more. And then Uncommon James had this earring set that I just, I don't know, this just looks so cool to me. So it looks just like this, right? So what these do is they make you look like you have two piercings, but on one hole, right? So I don't have more than one piercing. I only have one piercing. So I thought that this could be really, really cool. So what they do is they make it look like you have two piercings tell me that's not cool. Sorry if my ears get red, but anytime I touch my ears too much, they do get red. All right, so there we go. We pop them on. They look like this. I'm trying to arrange them in the camera, but you have to go the opposite way. And you just have to put them right and then like close it in really tight. And I love them. They're so adorable. Got them on sale. I think that they were doing like 40 to 50% off, which was pretty amazing. So I got this pair and then I ended up getting a cuff. So everything we talk about, I will be linking everything down below. So a cuff, you just kind of like put it into your ear like that and then you bring it down and what it does, it just sits in your ear like this. So it's like, you don't have to have a piercing, but now it looks like I have three piercings. <laughs> I'm gonna look like I have 70 pretty soon because I'm so obsessed with this like new like thing to make it look like you have more than one piercing. I think it's so, so cool. I always see like these Instagram bloggers and you know, the cool girl fashion girls with all of these really cool ear piercings. And I'm always like, ah, oh, I don't wanna get another piercing, but look, a lot of times it's probably fake. So the next thing I picked up is from Monica Vinida, I think is how you pronounce it, but there are these beautiful earrings. So the cool thing about these are they're actually cuffs and then you buy like the little dangly things separate. So. So it would look just like that. So like I could wear this with one of these or I could just wear this on its own. So that's what it looks like. But then you get the little dangly thing. 
So I got the pearl. That is what these look like. Tell me that's not so pretty. I love these so much. They're super, super elegant. I love the little pearl. They feel nice and heavy. They have a really pretty look to them. And I just think it could be like the perfect, like little elegant statement piece. I probably wouldn't wear it with an ear cuff. So I probably just wear it like this. I think it's, I think we would just wear it like this. I think it looks so elegant and yeah. So I really, really like these and I ended up getting these as well. So that is the jewelry that I picked up, which I'm very, very, very excited for but I've also needed shoes. <laughs> I've been in need of shoes. So I ended up getting two different pairs. Um, I still need more. I'm still looking for really nice shoes. I'm having a hard time finding good shoes, but I got these from Steve Madden. <gasps> Tell me these aren't the cutest sandals in the world. I actually bought them also for my sister and also for my mom for Christmas. So this was one of those like, buy one for you, one for me. So this is what they look like. They have these cute little pearls and ugh. They are so spectacular. And yeah, I'm so excited to have these. I've been wanting like a really cute, elegant sandal, something that I can wear with jeans or I could wear it with some of my cute little shorts that I've been getting a lot lately. And I could definitely see myself wearing this so much in the spring and in the summer. And if you guys know, I live in South Florida. So right now it's actually like 80 degrees. I could wear this right now if I wanted to, right now. Year round shoe in Miami. The other thing I got was from Mark Fisher. So I got these from Nordstrom and I saw so many reviews on them that I ended up picking them up. I'm not sure if they're too pointy. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna keep these or not, but I ended up getting these and they look really cute on. Look at that cute little metal detail in the front. I really like that. So it kind of looks like a really modern Western shoe. And I've been needing like this color booty. The other day I was wearing an outfit that needed beige and all I had was black. And I was like, yeah, it's not gonna work. So I think that this would be a nice little option. So I need to play with this and I'll show you guys the B-roll of me wearing it. Let me know if you guys think I should keep or return those. This is something I've been wanting for a while and I actually got this for my birthday if you guys don't know my birthday was December 10th So it just passed and this was something my mom got me So these this is a new Valentino belt So it's the classic, you know the one with the V and it's a nice pretty brown I've always wanted one of these and um, Saks had them and I think that they were on sale It seems like a lot of logo type of things are in really really in right now and I feel like this is like a noticeable logo, but maybe not as noticeable as Gucci, right? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I really liked it. I think it's really, really pretty. I like the brown and I have so much black. Might not have like a nice little brown and gold belt. I always wear gold jewelry, so shouldn't be a reason that I can't wear that with almost everything. Do you guys remember the Express shorts that I purchased, the black ones? I'll show an image up here. And I told you guys it looks so similar to the Zimmerman shorts. I will show an image of the Zimmerman ones here. Well, they released it again and they released it in beige, which is so much closer to the Zimmerman shorts now. So look how pretty these are. So they look, oh my God, these are such a dupe guys. Like they literally copied almost identical to Zimmerman and they fit really beautiful. They're not super tight on you. So they're not like, they're not like those sexy shorts that you have like a hard time wearing during the day. They have a really pretty flattering fit. They look really elegant and they're high waisted. So you can actually wear them with a crop top if you wanted to, or like a flowy long sleeve that maybe goes up a little bit in the center. But I'm obsessed with these. I think they're so beautiful and I'm hoping that they release them in white for the summer. I think that they are because come on, they already did black. Now they're doing beige. They're gonna do white, right? They're gonna do white. If they do white, then it will be literal Zimmerman dupe. They do not have pockets, but I think that's why they look so beautiful and slimming on the figure. And then I saved the best thing that I got for last. And this was a birthday, Black Friday, amazingness purchase. Oh, my new MacBook. So I got a new MacBook. So I have a Mac, this is a MacBook Pro. I've actually had MacBook Pros since I was in architecture school. So I've gone through so many Macs already. And my last Mac, Lexi actually ran into my table. It landed on the floor and the bottom's disconnecting. So I don't know how long that Mac is going to live for. It's still alive right now. Hey. You did. You remember doing that? When you hit my laptop and it fell on the floor? Do you remember that? It didn't fall on the floor. It didn't? What happened? Papa pushed me and it fell on the floor. So it fell on the floor. <laughs> so 
All right, go to have, so I am excited to have my 2021 MacBook Pro. I'm kind of like obsessed with computers. I really like computers. So if I could, I would buy a new one every year, but that would be super wasteful. I usually just wait until mine's like gone and then I get a new one. So this is my new baby and I can't wait to start setting her up. I'm still gonna be using my old one because it takes me a while before I can separate from my old MacBook Pro, but I will be transferring stuff slowly into this one. And then eventually I'll be doing all my work off of this one. It's actually pretty different from the one that I had from five years ago. They've changed some stuff on it and it looks bigger. It's thicker, like the old one that I had, they had started doing like the really thin, um, they had done like the really thin bodies and I think that that's why it broke so easily. This one went back to like the original times when the bodies were thicker and they feel more substantial. So that actually has me kind of excited. It feels like a heavier duty laptop than the one that I had from five years ago. So anyways, so that's everything I think. I think that's everything. Like I told you guys, I have some H&M stuff and some Abercrombie stuff that is still coming in and I'm gonna be doing a fashion haul of both of them. Maybe I'll mix them together. So actually some really, really cool pieces that I picked up that I think you guys will love. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me your comments down below. Did you guys get anything really cool during the Black Friday sale or during any of the sales? Don't you feel like every single company is continuing their sales? Like, like everywhere it's like 40% off get 30% off I feel like Black Friday was like just the start of the sales and they just continued right but anyways I'll talk to you guys later bye okay guys and don't forget to subscribe bye guys see you next time